Hi there, welcome back. Welcome back to my channel. A little bit about everything. I've been away for a while because I've been sort of busy with the hay season. It seemed to have drug out longer than it should have because uh, we've had really uh, humid weather, rain. I only got two opportunities to cut hay and one was in uh, one week in August at the end of August or no one week at the end of July and uh, one week in, in September at the end of September right and uh, I have some sanding to do and I finally gave in to buying myself a drum sander I bought a 1632 which is a common common one that everybody buys, or most everybody buys. Um, it is, it's a Supermax, Supermax 1632. And uh, I thought I'd share the unboxing with you. So, without any further interruptions, let's get on with it. So, this, this is the box it came with. And here on the label, it says 1632 and uh, serial number it weighs it weighs a hundred and or gross weight 158 136 I think is, is the real weight of it no it says it says 158 over here but it must be the box and everything included right and supermax tools uh, what else is on here? Oh, I got the instructions here, the instruction manual. Okay. Uh, drum sander. Owner's manual. Um, basically, all I want to do is actually get it on the stand and take a quick look around because it's about all the time I have for for that right now. So I'm just going to tear into the box. I'll let you. Sh I'll share share the the footage of that okay I didn't want to destroy the box but they, it's so heavy and the way they packaged it is there's a styrofoam on the other end like this I, I can't lift this off without lifting the whole machine and taking everything out so what I'm going to do is cut the box open Okay, so that's the motor. I think it's maybe a two or one and a half. And uh, this is the drum sander side. And a little servo motor to feed for the table feed. And uh, like I said, the stand was actually in the side of, of the crate or the styrofoam. Now. 
in. Give you a shot of that. can get a glimpse of that these are actually see that they're lock they're lock uh, lock washer like a bent hanger. This tool is actually to help you put the paper on the drum. Okay? It's it's I think it's to hold the paper there till you actually get wrapped around and you can lock it down or something. That's why it shows me here, right? I'll give you a quick look at the picture. Is that coming in okay? See the tool at the top? That's that's what it's for. Okay. Now I'm gonna rip into the instructions so I get a better overview of, of how to put that stand together. So I'm on my third one, doing the last one, nut, adjustment nut, two washers, and I'm missing one, I don't see it, it should be here somewhere, oh here it is, there, so that's it for that. And one more I have here, and uh, this is the owner's manual. Okay, that's something to read later. This is the scale, right? You can go uh, 32nd, 64th, um, although 64th is pretty precise for, for a drum sander, but it can do it, I guess. Okay, so... Uh, Put this aside, and I'm gonna try to get this stand up here and start assembling it up here. I've really been swamped. This is sort of a last-minute thing. It's late at night. So that's one leg. Nice paint job, by the way. Really nice. Leg two. Leg three. Pretty, this 
this is pretty simple. It's just so now. I should do the same and then it's, not, it's getting tricky I'm to topple over. So. There is one thing that I'm not sure about. The holes go. Okay, so the holes go going the same one or not. So they sent me a wrench. Drop forged stainless steel. It says a 14 and 12. Yet these nuts and bolts in here are 916s. They're not metric. So that wrench might serve for something else, but it's not for the stand. I had the coasters, but I don't. I'm gonna get them tomorrow. And what I mean by coasters or casters, I should say, pardon, casters. Um, they're wheels. Gauge thickness, holy Jesus, it's a good seven. It's a good sixteenth of an inch, if not more.
sugar tight enough because this thing probably vibrates somewhat. How much does this weigh? Two people can carry it. Um, I'm going to have to go get some help. And we'll set it on here. tightening up some bolts on, on the four corners so that it'll it'll be attached to the stand. I'll bring you over to see some of the controls. Um, let's start off with this. This is what? This is a 40 watt, 1 20th of a horsepower motor. It's a DC. 90 volt DC. Doesn't draw a whole lot of current, not even an amp. 40 RPM is maximum. It was made in 2023-04. Huh. All right, so this is a side view, right? It's the motor, the power motor itself, pre-wired for 115, warning, yada, yada, yada. It's capacitive start, as you can see. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. It's a one and a half horsepower. Uh, RPM. Sorry about the glare. 1720. It's a Class A. Oh, it, it. This was assembled not too long ago. I guess they're popular motors. So it, it says here 14 amps. Single phase four pole motor and 115 volts, 60 hertz, 11 kilo, 11 kilowatts. All right. So this is the business end of it. So you have a, your switch off and on. That probably just turns on. Well, it, it'll turn on both the feed and because. The feed is connected to this box here. 
and this is the power cord and that's the motor power supply and the motor is always going to run at 17 and 1720 and uh, these are your power feeds okay so uh, what does it say here active unit when lit uh, or in telling sand active now I'm not sure what that is maybe it's it's aware of how much material it's removing if it's laboring too hard the motors drawing too much current maybe it slows down the um, the feed rate right what it seems like it's only a potentiometer or maybe it's a, a varactor in this case which controls the voltage for the speed because what I see from here there's two sets of brushes so the higher the voltage the higher the speed I think the current is constant in this case but if it's a transformer uh, a transformer uh, uh, is DC I can't see how it would be unless it's switched prior to being changed over to DC right so there's got to be a bridge rectifier in there and, and other stuff some capacitors and um, but to have a constant current source a transformer will do it right if you drop the voltage you you crank up the current okay I, I have to think about it for a few minutes before really giving you an answer on that but this is your your feed table and it's a it's a seems to be like a 50 or 60 grit sandpaper and it's wrapped around on these two rollers okay and underneath it, it's just hanging there. there there's no support but over here there's support underneath the table and this is where you adjust a little ratcheting system here this is how you adjust your 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 table make sure your your paper tracks right and if you press this this is the business end of it and what I can see here it's only coupled with the uh, it's rubber coupled okay so it's got a dampener on it but it's like it, uh, I forget what these are called these type of couplers okay but there is if you see the red spot there that's rubber so there's a, a cushion for it right and uh, earlier I showed you that tool well it, it's here right if I press on this paper right here I release the paper okay and uh, the reason why this works and it just doesn't cut a straight line of grit in you, you'd see grit going in one direction like a planer knife with a dent in it right but since this winds on itself it's moving in two directions so it, it takes away those ridges that's why this works okay and over here if I unlock this here oh sorry about the glare if I unlock this and put it in the middle then I can oh I can lift and lower if you look closely here see it's going up and down I have a quick quick mechanism and this is on the dampener right there's a dampener here to help it up and down these tend to leak so um, the video I saw was that this guy the, the, the dampener started leaking and he asked Supermax or is it Supermax? Yeah. And um, he asked them to just for the cylinder, right? 
and they ended up giving him a, a whole machine because they couldn't get just the cylinder which is kind of weird but um, maybe it was at the time of COVID as well and they had trouble getting things shipped over right because I think it, this is probably made in China I'd have to look more closely because it's probably got a tag on it but uh, yeah so right here where my finger is that plate is here okay if I lock this again then I can lift and lower with a crank and this crank says a quarter of a turn is 164th so um, 116 is one turn if, if I got that right okay quick adjustment so basically that's it and I have here a, a scale right like a vernier, vernier scale it's digital um, I don't know if the battery's in there or not no I'm pressing the button and there's nothing so I'll have to get a battery for it unless they're just like okay I'm gonna have to use both hands on this alright so they take two double A's okay so I gotta get me two double A's to get this running and the scale is in the graduations on it are what seven eight three quarters and here they're in millimeters but I think the, the the scale is way more precise with the digital one this is just a quick reference okay 